Hey everybody, welcome to this video in our Ansible how-to series. We're going to cover the Ansible configuration file in this video. Now there's two things that you really need to know about the Ansible configuration file. First, there is a default Ansible configuration file. And second, you can use multiple Ansible configuration files. So let's start out by taking a look at the default Ansible configuration file. You are going to be able to find it. It's in Etsy Ansible and the file name is ansible.cfg. Now, this is a big file and we're not going to walk all the way through it in this video, but it is worth it to take some time to look through here and see what all settings are available to you in the file. Now, as I mentioned, you are able to use multiple Ansible configuration files. And why would you do that? Well, it might be that you have multiple different automation projects going and each one has got a slightly different set of configs and that's where individual or multiple ansible.cfg files can really come in handy. So let's take a look at one example uh, that uses an additional ansible.cfg file. This particular file is the one that we use in the Nagios deployment automation system. You see here that uh, it's in this directory, not in Etsy Ansible. And when we open it up, you'll see that it is a much smaller file than the main Ansible configuration file. Uh, one thing to notice in this file is that it specifies using the host file in the same directory. Our last video covered using multiple Ansible hosts file. So here you see how you can actually accomplish that by using an additional Ansible config file. The other two configs are personal preference. Skippy tells Ansible not to print to the console when a role is skipped. And retry files enabled equals false prevents Ansible from creating new files if a playbook fails. And that's really everything that you need to know about Ansible configuration files. There's a default file and you can use multiple config files with Ansible. Now, for those of you who have been watching this series in order to get up to speed on the Nagios deployment automation system, you are good to go. You're ready to rock. So go ahead and get your, your deployment automated and get everything out there and all set up to go. Thanks for watching. Any questions, any comments, let us know in the section below.